Hello, this is Julie Musial from Musial Marketing. Today what I want to teach you how to do is something that a lot of people are really missing the boat on and that's how to make your Facebook timeline cover a clickable link. Now Facebook changed the regulations on timeline cover artwork about a year ago and prior to that time you couldn't have any kind of promotion or call to action on your timeline cover art. But if you're still using a cover timeline photo without any type of call to action, you need to seriously consider an update. So what you see right now is my timeline cover photo. And what you see on there, it's a very simple cover and it has an offer to get a free copy of my book and it has a link. Now while that particular link, this one right here, this link technically isn't clickable. Now if you copied and pasted that link into a URL, it's going to go right directly to my free offer. But anywhere you click on this page, I'm going to click right there. Now what I did was, once you have your timeline cover photo, click on it. And what's going to happen is, you're going to get this comment section that's going to pop up. Now I'm going to show you how to do this a different way. So I'm going to close out of this. Let's say for example, I've got one that I haven't posted the comment yet. So this is a post that I did 17 hours ago. So this is a picture that I have not made a clickable um, comment to. So I just clicked on this picture and up pops this comment link. So what you want to do and what I've done on my cover photo, and you can do this on any photos, is in the write a comment section, what you're going to want to do is, and I'm going to, I'm going to say this is a test and I should actually go back and get that link. Let me see what it was. Um, actually, I think I know what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in the link. Typically, I would copy and paste this, but I know what the link is. So it's HTTP. Uh, it's colon forward slash forward slash Musial Marketing. MusialMarketing.com forward slash gift forward slash. Now, because I have that in there, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click enter and what's going to happen is that particular link, there it is, it just popped up. So once you put that link in there, now the link to that free offer is going to remain there. So what I would do is I would X out of this and it's going to be there. But I'm not going to save this, I'm actually, um, I'm actually going to X out of this. Uh, uh, I am going to, I don't want to really do this, so I'm not going to share it. I am going to edit it <laughs> and I'm going to delete that. Are you sure you want to delete this comment? Yes, I want to delete it. But that's how you do it for any type of link. So I'm going to X out of that. And now you see that my, my post hasn't changed and let's just double check that it hasn't changed. So I am going to click refresh. And let's see, I did not damage that post. So what you want to do, what you're going to see here, this is my timeline cover photo. I've got the, the link here. So let's say, for example, someone clicks on it. Here's what I've done. Just the way I showed you is I had put this comment in. I put the link in. I chose this particular uh, photo. <clears throat> and it's get your $197 free gift. Now I'm going to show you where that's going to click to. So for example, if I click on that, it's going to go to my website and this actually is, this is a landing page that I have built on my website. And I'll show you where that came from. Here's my, I'm going to go to my home page. And if you were to click on this link right here, get my download now, it's going to go to that free gift page. So that's where it is. So very, very important. You want to build that, build that, use Facebook to get this clickable link to go to your website. That's the key because the key in social media is not to keep people on social media. You want to use social media to drive people to your website, to your free offer. And you want your free offer to connect to a system such as AWeber or um, Infusionsoft or Send Pepper, or Office Autopilot, or Entreport, or <clears throat> you can do MailChimp. The one that I use is Office Autopilot Entreport. I love it. You can do a, a smaller version of it as Send Pepper. But that's how you do a clickable link. I hope that was of great value. We will see you next time. Thanks so much. Julie Musial at Musial Marketing.